We got us a little baby camper here now. Coleman. Hopefully we get this done real quick. Supposedly just needs just a roof. So we're gonna see. But one of the other things we noticed, I gotta get around this bar. Urgh. Squeak up in here. We got the lights on. Hopefully I can show you. The air conditioner. It bolts up through here. And there was nothing to hold it down. <laughs> it was just free floating. Yep. It just free floating. There's nothing up in there. Hey, they didn't even have it in there. So it was just like I said, it was free floating. That thing, you see these straps they put here? Uh, so there you go. You can see the straps now. And it, it's supposed to bolt into that hole there, but they didn't have that right. That hole right up in there. In the corner. But anyhow, at least they put them on so they wouldn't fly off. That's crazy. That's factory too. That's factory. That's a shame. So I just wanted to show that because that's crazy. I mean, we come across some stuff, and this is all the stuff we got to fix. Can't let it roll out like that. All right, well, we'll show you what's upstairs on the roof. All right, got our little Coleman. Let's view the top. So um, I think he had a tree branch hit this or something or snag the roof and that's why we're replacing it. But it's your typical, you know, RV roof. And I'll put more on, more on, that type of thing. And see how they slobbered it. Somebody already put some more in here because it kept fracturing. But um, the, uh, the butyl, that's what it is. It's a butyl. That die core stuff, it, die core just exploits people's ignorance to roof systems so I would not recommend that at all it's just a scam it's their cash cow $14 a tube roughly and um, all they do you when you pour when you put it on there that self leveling it's uh, the most I can make out of it it's like a butyl and a latex mix and um, once you put it on and the acrylic part of it cracks then the butyl gets exposed and the UV light starts to break down the butyl Die core is made by Carlisle Syntec. Carlisle Syntec it makes commercial roofing. In fact, we install Carlisle roofs. That's the membrane we use, but it's commercial. This is low budget. It's kind of like GM's model of the Chevy Chevette. They don't brag about it, but it's still a car. Uh, this is just low budget. But Carlisle, uh, but Die core, from what I'm gathering, doesn't want to buy the lap sealant that Carlisle makes on a commercial level. So you can try that. You know, if you were to go over yours. I would recommend using, uh, at least try, put it that way, try using Carlisle Syntec uh, lap sealant because it's say, that's Carlisle, if it's a Carlisle, excuse me, if that's a die core roof system, it's hard to tell who it is. I mean, there's Alpha systems, there's a whole bunch of them. But you can see how the water just pulls up around here. That, that all needs to flow off the roof. That all needs to flow off the roof. We're gonna lop that off, let it roll, because I don't want it sitting on there. So we're gonna, there's obviously a small roof, so there's much to show on here. But uh, like I said, all this here is already flaking off. So, and again, I don't know what it is. Looks like a little fracture hole right there. So I guess you need to put more on, more on. That's crazy. So we're gonna pull this roof up and see what the deck is um, and see how bad it is. And uh, we're gonna get a new roof on this thing for sure. But it's just a little pupper. So the, um, we got a couple of plumbing over there. And that's, that's basically it in a nutshell. It, this is a small roof. Not much to show you. It's got one of these bat wing antennas, I call them bat wings. But um, other than that, you also may want to go around your lights. You want to make sure we're going to go around the lights and seal that because you don't want the water to come down, hit there, and then travel down up inside underneath the uh, phylon. You want to keep that nice and tight. So, uh, and we'll be replacing all of this crappy insert trim. Look at that, it just sits in there. See all that, all that debris in there? The water just going to get in this track and it's just going to follow down because there's nothing to actually keep the water out see when it snaps in so we're going to replace it but uh, the stuff that we use it snaps inside and then it snaps over so it locks all that water out and uh, but like you said all that we're going to replace the whole whole thing all the way down all the way down there all four sides we'll replace it in here as well so uh, we're going to start tearing this off here in a little bit and as soon as we get all our scaffold all put together and pulled together and then uh, get all the walk boards make it safe to work right and then uh, after that she's a uh, ripping all up. right so here's our little coleman that has five mil that's the thickness of the decking five mil that's it 
they didn't glue it down. I don't know if you can see this. But it didn't glue down, but I mean, you, you can't walk on this thing. I mean, I would recommend it, you know. They sank all these little screws in here. You hear that one popping already. Right here, this one. But we gotta open it up, get rid of that crap. That's crazy. I mean, at least, you know, try to get three eights on here. Gee whiz. That's just, so, but we gotta take it up anyways and check all the wires. Don't have an AC trunk line because it's just got one unit and it's so small, I'm sure there's no trunk line in here, but I do wanna check the wires. I wanna get all that right before we just send her off. Here's that tear, that's why I come in for that tear. We wanna obviously see if there's any decking damage. You can see it popping right there already. That's a drywall mesh tape. Someone said it was some other stuff, but it's just drywall mesh tape. That's all it is. I get comments on it. This is uh, some whatever. They, I don't, can't remember what they said it was, but they argued that it was not mesh tape. That's drywall mesh tape. They're not spending any money on these coaches. They will not spend one more red cent. And I'll show you that because I'm sure when we open this up, we're gonna find wires that come up through the wall that are unprotected. And the little pieces that go in there are just a couple of cents. They won't put them in. So you go down the road and then the thing gets compromised and shorts out, well, for a couple of pennies, right? They don't want to do it. So anyhow, but that's where we're at right now. Still working on trying to get it, uh, get the roof back up. And uh, that'd be her. Well, how easy this thing is pulling up. It's a... Uh, Got a little damage over there. This thing is all buckled. This is the one I was showing you earlier. It's at five mil. So got to fix that. That's for sure. We got a little bit of rot over there. It's common. That's where the water pools. So I mean, I can tell you right now, this is real easy to pull up because this guy right here, he isn't that strong. You know what I mean? So, what? No, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to the other guy over there. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Well, we got all the decking up. And now what we're doing is just cleaning up all the trusses. I don't know why it's got the metal ones in there and then the wood. I really don't know, but um, they're there. But we did check every one of these. There's no wires coming out anywhere from here. But, but, what did we find over here? This is a baffle. This is your refrigerator vent. That's the refrigerator fins. So when it radiates, all the heat comes up. Well, it's supposed to come out of the vent. That would be on the roof. But they put this in here, and I think that was the intent. But look at most of it. It's like halfway. So on the other side of this board, it's going back up inside the coach. So this got to come out and be fitted proper. See, there's a cabinet right there, and that's where all the heat would go. So that doesn't make sense. So we're probably going to make that fit a little more proper since that's the stuff we do even though it's not in the roof scope you know better to address it at this given moment all right our little coleman it needed a new roof deck so we upgraded it it had five mil lou on that is crazy so uh anyhow we upgraded the three eights we can't put too much heavier stock on there because then a lot of things don't want to line up so um that's what we do. We got the 3 8 going on here. We got it glued. Got all the booger under there. Got all the booger there. I want to staple up a Jesus down. And then on the other ones, we got to screw these ones out of the metal and staple and screw and staple and screw and whatever we need to do. And then we'll get it all secured. So that's us so far. Another update on our little Coleman. All right, we got our roof down. Now we're gonna get the big roller on here. That's just our little balance roller. That's what I call it. That's the one I made. And uh, we're gonna start cutting our curbs and get it going. We are done. RV roof install, June 2nd. Sorry, it's June 2nd, June 21. But yeah, we put those on there so then we can see how the roof is doing as we um, as the roof comes back for inspections. So what we got is a 60 mil commercial grade TPO. This is a thermal plastic. And you can see we've got everything all heat welded. We have curbs, heat welded, AC, got stands on the back, custom make everything. So keep in mind, these are not DIY videos, not DIY type of uh, tutorials or anything like that. So um, 
One of the things that will give you a tip as a DIY, if you are caulking your coach, I would recommend that you go over everything with two strikes. When the caulking is put into the tubes, as it comes down through the actual tube, there's air in there. So as you're going along, I'm sure every now and again you've heard a pop or a crackle. Well, you just injected an air bubble. So if you go over it the second time, what are the chances of you hitting the same air bubble over another air bubble? It'll be slim to none. So I recommend putting two strikes on there. That's what we do. Everything gets two strikes. I went around the lights, went around everything. So you see we even built the curb for that um, little antenna as well. So everything's done. We're ready to deliver her. Got a little bit of green tape up there because I went across the front and um, I'm going to peel that off there in a second. So, but otherwise, you can you may hear a vacuum. We're vacuuming the inside. Just dust her off. And um, I went down the sides of these two, the corner posts. We took all those off, all four corners. Took them all off. And then we uh, just wanted to reseal them. So I got to break the scaffold apart for that. So break the scaffold apart. And it's awkward to get in the front. They get down and walk around with the camera. So, also in the front of the AC, we put a counter flash up underneath it. So this way when the water comes down, it's not going to go back on top of the counter flash on my curb. There's a foam gasket. So I want to make sure the water is going to shed right away. And uh, like I said, that's about it. There's a green tape I was telling you about. I'm going to peel that off here in a second. But uh, otherwise, we want to thank uh, the customer for trading with us and allowing us to do the job. We really appreciate the business. Uh, and also some tips here. First inspection, we like to see 30 to 60 days. 60 days max, you know, I like them 30, but it gives them time to maybe make an arrangement. Now, I want to double check all the caulking and everything and all the welds and so forth. I want to check all that. Uh, you can wash this with Dawn dishwashing liquid. You could actually pressure wash it. As long as you don't put like a pencil nozzle to it, you know, and pierce it. But you can just get a regular spray wand and you can just soap it down with some, uh, uh, get a Dawn dishwashing liquid, something mild. You don't need anything, anything aggressive at all, simple green or whatever, you know. Um, I try to stay away from like uh, orange cleaners and stuff only because uh, it, if you don't mix it right, it may end up staining the, uh, the roof. So uh, some of those dyes in those products do. So that's why you say like Dawn dishwashing liquid and stuff like that would probably work out just fine. So. Um, the uh what else we got left we got the so once they come back for the initial warrant initial inspection then you come back every year every time you come back i'll renew the warranty again we'll do that all the way up for 20 years so the uh, it's that simple but also i like to want these washed when we go to inspect them we've had some come in here that are just so absolutely filthy we can't you know we can't uh it, it's hard to get around and inspect everything and see everything that we want to see so you can bring it through a truck wash and say, hey, get up there and pressure wash the roof and they can just blast it all off for us. At least get it somewhat clean so we can see what we're doing. But uh, other than that, we're going to cut her loose.